Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to do an unboxing of a pair of hookah shoes. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's the way I hear it pronounced. It's called hookah. So let's talk about these shoes. Very expensive, about $165. But I swore from a lot of people that I work out at the gym that they are like walking on clouds. My feet hurt and I'm not a light person. I'm about 265 pounds. And the reason I bought these particular shoes is I actually had a chance to try them on at Dick's Sporting Goods and try it on their wide. But when I went online to research these, I noticed they had an extra wide, which is something that Dick's Sporting Goods did not carry. So these are the hookah shoes. So we'll go around the box, kind of show you what it looks like. Um, what's real cool about these is if you actually go online and you buy them online, they'll try to, they'll give you a coupon for expedited delivery. So I got these in about two days after placing my order. So that's pretty cool. I used one of their coupons and then it got to me. Um, that was nice of them, but it was still expensive, right? At $165. I, these are the X wide width, which is 4E in other words. I'm used to wearing what's called Nike Air Monarchs which are 11 and a half for E2. So this is why I ordered them, like I mentioned at the very beginning. Um, I have a really wide foot. I do like going to the gym a lot, so I put a lot of wear and tear on my shoes. So as you can see right here, it says M Bondi 8X wide, and there's the uh, UPC code. It's 1127955. BBLC, I can only imagine, means black. 11 and a half for E, and they kind of translate what it is from UK, EU, and Japan. Um, so let's go ahead and look inside and see what they have. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and unbox these and take them out of the box. As you can see, it's really a uh, nice, plain advertising, just says hookah. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. There's a shoe right here. Um, look at that cushioning on that shoe. I have a, uh, a ruler somewhere here, so I'll pop that out here in a minute and kind of see what it is. Since this is black, I got a pink ruler to kind of show, you know, uh, the width of it and everything. So let's see right here. Uh, we'll go on the inches side. Here's the inches. So on the biggest side, it is about two inches there. I'm not sure if that's all of it or if it just goes that high. But down here, you can see it kind of goes to about maybe an inch and a half so. And then up here you have the, the same thing, which is about a little less than an inch. So that's pretty good. Well, actually a little bigger than an inch, about an inch and a quarter. Um, so the depth on these uh, shoes are good. The tread on the shoes are good. The cushioning feels really good, actually. Look at that. Um, they call these, these kind of shoes are called the ultra cushion shoes. So what I'm gonna do is take out the other one and do, we'll talk about it here in a minute. So that way we can move the box away. Um, it comes with some kind of plastic. And here's the other hook issue. So we'll put that right there. Let's see, make sure there's nothing else in the box. Yep, nothing else in the box. All right, so let's move the box to the side. And then we'll put the shoes right here for you. I got one facing each way. So let's look at this. Um, they're, they're actually very light. Um, like I said before at the beginning of the video, this is the Bondi 8 shoe. These are what you call the ultra cushion shoes. There are other uh, shoemakers that make this, like uh, New Balance makes a pair of these. I think it's their New Balance V9 or something like those. Those are actually $200, uh, but they are they fall in the line of Max Cushion, right? So you could tell right away the Max Cushion, you, if you look at them like this, if you look at them like this, you see how they stick out over here. And as your foot compresses, this compresses out too. Um, one of the reasons I got these also was because of what they said online, it provides you comfort as well as stability. So back to these hookah shoes, um, got nice laces. Um, inside here, you can see where it says the Bondi uh, label down here. This is called the Bondi 8, which just came out um, not too long ago. This was replacing the uh, other version of this, the Bondi 7. A lot of improvements have been made. Um, it is what they say, it takes a bold step forward. Um, it's for uh, different types of training. It's softer. Um, this is actually foam, a little bit different than your traditional shoe, so that's good too. Um, one of the things that they you know, talk about is the brand new extended heel geometry, right? Um, anything that can help the heel, anything that can help any of those things, I think it'd be good. Um, what's, what are these shoes best for? Everyday walking, everyday running, comfort. Me, myself, I'm gonna use it for the gym. 
and every day, right? Um, what do I like about this? I mean, it's sustainable, right? It's 40% uh, recycled polyester. Uh, so that's nice. So they a little bit of uh, environmental consciousness there. Not too much, but some. So this is what the tread looks like. I'll give you a second to zoom in on that and kind of look at it. Um, never seen tread like this. Um, but the way that I read this and from other people reviewing this is the way that this tread is laid out and the way that they have these sections here. It's to give your foot stability. Um, not everybody steps normal. I tend to step with my right foot out towards the uh, right side and it kind of makes my shoes look a little wonky after maybe six to eight months where the shoe is leaning all the way towards the right. I'm hoping the stability that's built into this shoe will help that problem. Okay. All right, so there's the shoe right here. So let's look at the other one. Um, as I did say when I talked about this shoe, it is a black shoe, all black. I figured my first one should be all black because that'll go with everything. If I end up liking this, I'm probably gonna buy the other two colors that come inside of the hookah, right? They come in three different colors, at least the extra wide, right? They come in what's called a uh, goblin blue mountain spring. Um, then they come in the other color, which is the shark skin or harbor mist. And then the last color, which is the one that I have right here, which is black, straight up black. All right. So the one that I do want to get is the other one, the uh, goblin blue. I want the 11 and a half one, but um, unfortunately that bad boy is uh, apparently on back order. So once it comes into stock, I'll probably get it if this ends up fitting me good and if it ends up working out for me. Um, we'll know with time. So I'll probably put them on for a couple of minutes and then, you know, kind of give you my first five minutes impressions. So let's go ahead and unbox these. We did the unboxing. Now let's take out these little things out of the thing. So we have tissue to keep the shoe from falling apart. And then we have this part in here. We'll take that out. Uh, there we go. It's a little foot stabilizer to kind of keep the shoe looking good while it's being, I guess, either shipped or on display. So we'll look inside here. There we go, it says Bondi 8 hookah. And then on the tongue, it has the uh, actual size on it, which it says 11 and a half or E, which is the one I got. Um, the tongue is a very different compared to other shoes. It's, it's kind of like, it kind of comes in at an angle. Uh, not like normal shoes, just in the middle. This one is actually in the, it's, it's angled sole, which uh, I hear is pretty good. So we'll see, I'll, I'll try it on and then tell you what I, what I think about it. So let me go ahead and put these on and I'll come right back to you. Alrighty, everybody had a chance to walk around on these for a few minutes. What I can say is that they're very light, they're wide. Um, my first impression is I like them. My second impression is they are wide. Um, my third impression is I think I'm gonna enjoy using these at the gym. Um, but that's only my 10 minute try on, right? Uh, I think the best review is going to come when I have them on for a week or two and they had a chance to break in and how they end up holding. What I would say is this finally. What I like about Hookah is that they let you test these shoes out for 30 days. And if you return these before 30 days, no questions asked, they will refund you or switch them out with something else. Um, I like that. It speaks a lot when the actual vendor backs up their shoes and their claims with such a warranty. And hookah is very straight to the point. And I've read that in a lot of forums where they return them with no questions asked. So that's one of the reasons I didn't mind spending the money I did and trying them on for a week or two to allow me a good time to test these. And then if it does not work, I will send them back. And I like the fact that hookah stands behind it and will say no questions asked, just send them back. Though you just go online, fill out a UPS label or something like that, and they'll send it to you and then you ship it back to them. Alrighty, everybody, that's gonna do it. Consider subscribing, consider leaving a comment, and most importantly, consider giving me a thumbs up. We'll talk to everybody on the next one. Bye-bye.